first and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this would not be possible. Low Nose Boxing. Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, what I'm about to talk about right now has nothing to do with boxing. I just want to deliver a message to anybody that may have to hear this. Just know that God is undefeated. God is undefeated. In life, whenever we go through circumstances, whenever we go through adversity in life, before panicking, before allowing your peace to be disrupted, think about the times in the past when God got you through something. Whenever God gives you the strength to overcome any type of circumstance in your life, that's very, very important. Think about this. In fact, I'm going to put you on to something. Before I went to Puerto Rico, I was worried. I was anxious about taking that flight because I don't really fly that often. And I'm not afraid of flights at all. I don't fear anything. But what I'm trying to say is leading up to that flight to Puerto Rico, all I kept anticipating was what if I get an anxiety attack on the airplane? That's what I was worried about at the time. Because, you know, the enemy has attacked me with anxiety before, with the spirit of anxiety. God has got me through every single time. But leading up to that flight, I was anticipating um, being attacked by anxiety. But I got on that flight, and I was in my seat, and I had my, my headphones, my Kenichi Bears, plugged in. And I was listening to YouTube. I was listening to a specific video. It's called 10 Hours of God's Promises. So I'm listening to this the whole time while I'm on the plane. So as the airplane is going all the way up, I'm expecting this to cut off because, mind you, I was on Spirit Airlines. Excuse me, not Spirit. I was on Frontier Airlines. And pardon me for the noise outside, but we're going to work through this together. I was on Frontier Airlines, right? And I realized that the audio, the YouTube audio that I was listening to was not cutting off at all. It wasn't cutting off at all. And I felt so calm. Man, I got this reset. Anyway, like I was going to say, I almost got taken out of character right there because somebody's outside making noise. But like I said before, the audio was playing the whole time while I was on the plane listening to God's word. And I was so calm. I was so relaxed. To make a long story short, I did not get any type of anxiety attack. I wasn't attacked in any way, shape, or form. Because sometimes, a lot of times, when you entertain anxiety, all you're doing is worrying about something that might not ever happen. So I'm worried about catching an anxiety attack on an airplane, but it didn't happen. So I gotta remind myself, God came through for me there. God came through for me for many times in my life. There's times that I've taking road trips, and every time I take a road trip, anybody that's been around me knows that I always pray before I go on a road trip. So I remind myself of all the times God got me through certain situations. That's very powerful when God gets you through something because now you have a remembrance. You have something you can fall back on and remember in your life, something that got you, something that God got you through. Just remember God was faithful then, and God will be faithful now. And I say that to say this, as children of God, um, you know, it's like a parent. A parent is there for you, and you need them all the time. But you don't want to be a spoiled brat and do wrong despite your parents being kind to you, being good to you, being loving. Now, I'm not perfect, right? I, may, I make a lot of mistakes, but I'm still working on, on, on becoming the man that God wants me to be at the end of the day. And God is working on me. And, you know, Jesus Christ is real. God is real. Give it a try. Always remember God got you through something once before and he can get you through something again. That's very important, man. Have a remembrance of the times he got you through. With that being said, amen. God bless you. Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, low nose boxing. And once again, I just felt like delivering a different type of message. And every now and then I'm going to do this. Enjoy your day. God bless you.